we're back here with Tom. He's our um, stroke patient who has um, affected right side. We've been doing a lot of exercises um, and treatments with um, trying to get that mobility back in his right shoulder and he's been doing very well. Um, so how are you feeling today? What would you say your pain level is on a scale to one to 10? I would say today it's a three. A three, that's yes. great. Yeah. That's awesome. I'm glad to hear that. Um, let's see. So today we're just going to be doing a little bit um, of a home assessment. I just kind of want to see how you do a few um, ADLs, which is just activities of daily living. Because um, we want to make sure that you're independent. Because before your stroke, I saw that you were fairly independent. You were doing all these things by yourself. And after, um, it's been a little challenging, I'm told. So I want to try to get you back to where you were at and keeping you at home. So um, we're going to look at what Tom's activity tolerance is today. We want to make sure that he's not getting um, too winded. If you need a break, you can take a break. If you're feeling any pain, I want you to share that with me because I want to try to adapt the um, activity so that you're able to do it comfortably and safely at home. Um, so just express any of these um, pains that you might be having, okay? Okay. So to start off with, um, this is, I saw with um, in your previous notes, you're working with Angie. Um, and she did some great stuff with you with showering. Yeah, she did. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm, I don't know if I'm supposed to tell you, but I'm a student of occupational therapy. I wasn't sure if you, I told you that already. Yeah, you okay. did. Yeah. Okay, good. Um, all right, so let's go ahead and um, start with um, focusing on standing transfer, or standing tolerance, I'm so sorry and functional mobility. That's what we're focusing on this time. Okay. So um, I, I saw that Angie worked with you with how to um, stand up mm -hmm. transfers properly. So go ahead and um, show me what you learned. That's great. So now where do you keep your clothes for the day? So I actually keep them right in this lower level. Oh, you keep that at a lower level. Mm -hmm. Okay. So do you want to, you care to show me how you typically get your clothes out in the morning? Yeah. So I usually just come down to it and then bend my knees and try to pull on it. Okay. Very nice. Do you want to pick out what we're wearing today? Yeah. So I have this sweatshirt I've been dying to wear. Oh. And then I have these pants. Very good. And she did that pretty good, I think. Now, if she, I was kind of worried about it being a lower jaw, but she did pretty good. Um, if she had trouble with her, um, you know, um, being able to functionally do that, I might recommend a reacher. Mm -hmm. But I think she did, or he did pretty well. So, um, yeah. All right, now um, we can go ahead and begin with the dressing, the lower body. Do you want to do the lower body dressing first, which is just means putting on your pants? Yeah. Okay. So I see that Tom is only using his left side to do this but we'll see how, if he's able to do this without needing to adapt the activity. If he needed to, we could recommend possible a clothing guard, or not a clothing guard. Um, no, that's what it is. No? Clothing stick. Clothing stick. <laughs> yeah, that just has like a little hook on it where he could try to like pull it up with. So, but he's doing pretty good. He's a little overachiever, I think. Do you feel like you're getting out of breath doing this or feeling any kind of dizziness? No, I feel pretty good. Okay. Okay. So it seems like his he's sitting back down, so there might be some issue going on with standing tolerance there. But it's good to take a break, so that's good mm -hmm. that you're doing that instead of like pushing yourself and getting a little bit out of breath and dizzy. Okay, so now let's put on the sweatshirt. So 
So I think his standing tolerance right now, just for this um, dressing, lower and upper body dressing activity is probably pretty, um, I'd say moderate, since he is taking a break to sit down and he feels comfortable doing that, so. And he puts the affected side in first, because we're still kind of, I'm sure I do feel a little sensitivity there. A little, yeah. Yeah. Very good. Are you able to pull your shirt down? I believe so. Great job. He's pulling it up so that it's on instead of reaching it out. So you're still seeing like we have a little bit of difficulties with that flexion of the shoulder, but we're still working on it. You're doing your, act, your exercises still? Yes. That's great. Okay, so if you're able to um, ambulate over to your restroom, which is just going from walking. Very good. Okay, so now we're gonna do a little bit of, um, so you, you, your typical routine is he likes to brush his teeth in the morning, correct? Yes. So that was in your, your notes, I saw. Yes. So that's great. Um, so we have a typical toothpaste, and this is a new kind of toothbrush that we're using. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I see, you see what he's doing here? He is stabilizing his affected arm on the counter. Um, so how do you put your toothpaste on your toothbrush? Well, I usually take the toothbrush or the toothpaste So we're doing that with our left side, which you were right hand dominant before. Yes. Okay. And now, uh, are you able, so this is good. He's able to put it up to his mouth, which it also helps with other activities such as self-feeding. So we're seeing that the, um, he's, you know, going from you know, trying to do it on his left side instead of his right. And he's adding this stability at his shoulder. And if he wanted to get a little bit of like um, some kind of exercise in that shoulder, well, you know, cause we're still trying to do all we can to get back to the independence level, how we were before, he could add a little bit of pressure to that while he's doing these um, ADL. So why don't you do, go ahead and try to sure, little, yeah. give a little, little stretch there, you know, can't hurt a little bit. That actually feels a lot better, just kind of putting pressure on that. Yep, just using that um, iso, is it isometric contraction? Or, yeah, I think. Mm -hmm. Isometric, mm -hmm. yes. Yep. So that's just um, where we're just using the force of gravity to put on there, and there's not a lot of movement. So. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. You feel clean? Oh, yeah. That's good. Okay, so what's the next step in your morning routine? So I also really like to brush my hair. Okay. So so how do you typically do this? So so you lift your arm up and you set it over like that? Yes, to okay. make sure I stabilize Which is it. good because he does have that sublux and so um, not just letting it hang there for act these kind of activities is going to help with that. So, because if it was just hanging out, it's just going to keep getting pulled out by gravity. And then I take it with my dominant hand. Smooth brush. Some long hair, Mr. Tom. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so we're getting all kind of movement at this left shoulder here. While we're still adding that stability and that input to the affected side. So this is good. And he has minimal assist. 
but he's able to do this independently. And if he wasn't, we would be able to make those adaptions. Like maybe if um, we can look in the future to see once we get more of that scapular motion back on his right side, we could see about his grip. And if his grip isn't great to hold this, like if he's like, you know, can't really stabilize when brushing, we could put some build up on there so that he can build up and that grip and then slowly decrease it. So then he can be back to, you know, where he was previously in functional levels. How does okay. my hair look? It looks great, Tom. Thank you. All right, well, thank you so much for showing us that. Yeah, today. thank you for yeah. teaching me all the proper positions. Well, that was all you. Okay. <laughs>